Hi Crystal community, today I'm going to show you how to correctly place crystals on the body in a 10 crystal chakra body layout. To perform a 10 crystal chakra body layout, you're going to need 10 crystals. These should correspond in color to the chakras that you'll be working on, but they should also be appropriate in size and shape. So ideally we want to be working with stones that are quite flat at the back. I like working with large flat oval um, shaped stones and this will stop them from rolling off the body. We also want to make sure that they don't have any sharp edges, they're not flaky or dusty and they're not going to pose any kind of irritation to our client if they come in contact with their skin. If you're working with tumbled stones, just keep in mind that these do tend to misbehave when they're placed on the body and they do roll around a lot. So you might need to place a blanket or a sheet over your client or yourself first and just bunch the sheet around the stone to keep it in place. I really don't recommend working with tumbled stones in crystal body layouts um, because I do find them impractical. However, the energies of tumbled stones is absolutely fine and they are suitable for other types of crystal work like crystal grids and crystal elixirs. All right, the first stone that we place on the body in any crystal layout is the Earth Star Chakra stone. The Earth Star Chakra is located about six inches below the bottom of our feet. It is a transpersonal chakra, meaning that it is not connected to the physical body. It is connected to our etheric body or our energetic body. The Earth Star Chakra is really connected to our personal history, our um, human history, so even as far back as our evolutionary process, uh, our childhood, it's very stabilizing, um, it forms the foundations of our energetic body and it's a very important chakra to work with. The reason why we always place it first is to ensure that we keep our client grounded or yourself if you're working on yourself and that we are ensuring that all this high vibrational crystal healing is going to be integrated and anchored into the physical body because if we focus only on the upper chakras and we're not grounded then this can lead to us feeling a little bit dizzy a little bit disconnected and um, those all of those high vibrational energies find it a little difficult to land in the physical body so we always place the earth star chakra crystal first the stone that i'm going to be placing for this layout is smoky quartz I love smoky quartz because it is very grounding, but it also brings clarity as well. I'm placing that between my client's ankles here. And by the way, this is my client, Vanessa, my mannequin. <laughs> I don't always have a person on hand when I feel inspired to do a YouTube video. So I've got my mannequin here. She loves volunteering, don't you, Vanessa? She's, she's a very good client. Um, so we place the Earth Star Chakra Crystal between the ankles or below the feet. Ideally, we do want it below the feet uh, um, exactly in the place of the chakra, but on a typical length healing table, there's usually not enough room to be able to do this over the end of the table. So it's okay to place that stone between your client's feet as well. Stones that are suitable to use here are black and brown stones. So think about stones like obsidian, um, Apache tears, hematite, smoky quartz, black tourmaline, etc. Anything that's going to be brown or black. The next stone that we're going to place is the soul star chakra. This chakra is also known as the higher crown chakra. It's located about six inches above the top of the head. So what I'm going to do, once again, I'm limited with space. I'm going to pop that stone just as high as I can at the top of the healing table there. Suitable stones for this chakra include white stones and clear stones. I'm working with clear quartz, but other stones that would be suitable include selenite, clear calcite, moonstone, and any other stones that are white or clear. So now I've got my Earth Star Chakra stone in place 
and my soul star chakra um, crystal in place there as well, which means that we've honored the earthly energies and the astral energies. We've opened up with grounding to keep our client anchored in the physical realm and um, to help the healing energies integrate into the physical body. And we've also opened up and honored the soul star chakra so all of that astral energy can flow in through the body and fill us with um, the wisdom and healing energy that comes from the higher realms. So we've got those two bases covered now. How we move and fill out the rest of the body really depends on what you or your client needs. So if your client is someone that needs a little bit more grounding, then I would go and um, place the lower chakra crystals first and work my way up. However, if you're wanting to really invite in those extra astral energies and high spiritual vi vibrations, then you might start by placing the higher chakra crystals first and working your way down the body. The next stone I'm going to place is going to be the root chakra stone. The root of the root chakra is located at the perineum between the anus and the reproductive organs. It funnels out down the body towards the knees in a cone-like shape. So if we want to place a stone for the root chakra, it's okay to place the stone anywhere between the groin and the knees. This is going to be inside that chakra funnel. So I'm going to place it just below the client's groin here and any red stones are going to be great to use at the root chakra. This includes stones like red jasper and carnelian, red agates. I'm working with carnelian because I love the cleansing properties that it brings, but any red stones are going to be okay here. Even stones like bloodstone, which are kind of mottled green and red, are going to be okay here. Dragon's blood jasper is another one that has green and red in it. So these are all perfectly great stones to use at the root chakra. The next stone I'm going to place is the sacral chakra stone. I'm going to be working with sunstone for this layer. So it's a beautiful orange um, positive stone and I'm going to place that between the belly button and the groin at the sacral chakra. Sometimes this is called the splenic chakra as well. Um, we can feel it through the lower back, we can feel it through the belly and the hips area, and any orange stones are going to be great here. So stones like sunstone, which I'm using, lighter colored carnelians and crab agates are all great orange stones that we can work with at the sacral chakra. The next stone I'm going to be placing is the solar plexus stone at the solar plexus chakra. So this chakra is located at the base of the ribs in between the belly button and the center of the chest. If you hold your hands up in your chest area, you will feel a little dip here where the ribs come in. Uh, and this is where your solar plexus chakra is. This is the seat of confidence and creativity and personal power. So these are stones that are going to be yellow or gold because if I like to think of it as though this is the chakra area that we really shine forward from. And to me, a beautiful, shiny, happy, vibrant color is yellow. So stones like citrine, yellow jasper, pyrite, even tiger's eye, these are all great to use through the solar plexus chakra. My favorite stone to work with here is citrine. So I'm working with a beautiful large citrine point here. Next, we're going to go and place the heart chakra stone. Now the heart chakra is represented by the color green. So any green stones are going to be great to use here but we can also use pink stones as well. I use these interchangeably in the heart chakra area. One of my favorite stones though is rose quartz, which I'll be using in this layout and placing that right in the center of the chest here over the heart. But you can use green stones like green aventurine, um, moss agate, malachite, or any other pink stones such as ruby, rhodochrosite, rose quartz, pink tourmaline, etc. So just think green and pink for the heart chakra area. The next stone I'm going to be placing in this 10 chakra layout is the higher heart chakra. So the heart chakra is really for those earthly emotions such as love, um, feeling um, compassion, connection to people, whereas the higher heart kind of takes these earthly 
feelings and emotions and heightens them to an even more spiritual plane of um, feelings like unconditional love and forgiveness and those emotions that take an even higher spiritual requirement from us. This chakra is located between the throat and the heart and it can be a little tricky to get the stones to stay in place there. If you're working with a sheet like I am, you can just wrinkle the sheet and use it as a little sling to hold the crystals in place. So this chakra is represented by the color peppermint green or like a, um, an aqua kind of color. So any stones that sit within this color spectrum are going to be great to use here. I'm working with chrysoprase, but you can also work with stones like aquamarine if it's more towards the green spectrum than the blue spectrum, um, even labradorite, which has blues and greens through it. Um, chrysocolla could be a good stone to use here as well. So any, any stone that's in that um, aqua peppermint green kind of color spectrum is going to be great. As we move up the body, I'm going to be placing the throat chakra stone next. So the throat chakra is located right in the center of the neck and we can feel it through the throat. We can also feel it through the upper shoulders, through the jaw. And um, this is really the center of our communication and personal expression. This is where we place blue stones. Any blue stones that, are, that range from aquamarine to light blue to medium blue even dark blue are going to be fine to use at the throat chakra keep in mind though that this is a really sensitive area so even though I like to work with larger stones on other parts of the body through the throat I try and keep the stone size a little more conservative because it can feel a little bit um, awkward for my for your client or a little bit uncomfortable if you've got a giant crystal sitting on your throat so just be mindful of that when you're working at this chakra area the stone I'm working with today is Blue Aventuring, which is a really beautiful light blue, even toned stone. But you can work with stones like Blue Lace Agate, Lapis Lazuli, Sodalite, Aquamarine, um, any other types of blue agates, and any stones that are oh, turquoise is another good one. Any stones that are going to be in that blue spectrum of color. Now we're moving up to the higher chakras. So I'm going to be placing a stone on the third eye chakra. The, third, the root of the third eye chakra is actually located deep in the brain and towards the back of the brain at the pineal gland. Now it's called the pineal gland because it actually looks a little bit like the pattern of a pine cone. So um, the, the geometric formation of the pineal gland. But this, while the root of the chakra is located deep there, it actually radiates outwards from the head and we can feel it through the center of the eyebrows. This is where we can feel it on the external physical body and when we're sensing energy on our clients or ourselves, we feel the energy coming through this area here. So we'll go ahead and place a stone between the eyebrows. Once again, I always, um, if I'm working with a client, um, just like I work with the sheet and I can wrinkle that around the crystals, I tend to cover my client's face um, or their eyes anyway, so they feel nice and contained, their eyes are closed, and it also helps me place the crystals on, on the, the forehead without them slipping off. So I've got lapis lazuli at this chakra point today. The third eye is represented by the color indigo, which is like a really deep blue leaning towards purple color. So any stones that are within that color spectrum are going to be great, like really deep purples, really deep blues, stones like azurite, um, sodalite, uh, lapis lazuli, dark amethysts, things like that. Iolite is another good one to use at the third eye chakra. And finally, we move up to the crown chakra. So the root of the crown chakra funnel is located at also inside the brain um, at the pituitary gland and it radiates up out of the top of the head like a cone. So while the root chakra funnels down and radiates down through the root chakra, the crown chakra uh, radiates up. So it's a cone like shape going up and out of the top of our head. We can feel that through the upper head area. So all around here from the top of the forehead 
to the top of the head and the back of the head, we can feel the energy flowing through the crown chakra. So there are a few options for where we place the stone here. If your, if your client has a larger forehead, then you can place it just above the third eye chakra stone on the forehead, or you could place it above the top of the head, pressed against the top of the head as well, um, or even under a pillow if your client's on a pillow. So, that, so there's a few different options when we're placing the crown chakra stone. I'm going to go ahead and just place it above the third eye there. So this is a chakra that resonates with the color violet or a very light purple color. So suitable stones for this area are lighter colored amethysts, purple fluorite, purple calcite, um, even clear stones because it does kind of feed into the soul star chakra or the higher crown chakra. So clear stones can be used here too, like clear quartz or clear calcite. I'm working with a very pale purple calcite today, uh, which is a beautiful clear and violet colored stone. And this is going to be great for working at that chakra. Once all the chakra crystals are in place, we can go ahead and set the healing intention for the stone. This can also be done as you're placing the crystals, but I tend to um, place most of the crystals first or all of the crystals and then go back and set the intention for the stones. But either way is going to be fine, so find out what works best for you. And to set the healing intention for the stone, all we are doing is simply spending a minute or, or thereabouts with our hands over the stone or on the stone, just sending the healing intention into the stone and into the person's body that will be receiving the healing. This could be a really specific intention. So this could be someone that's come to you because they're experiencing anxiety and insomnia, in which case you can send the intention into the body that um, you, you, are, you are sending healing energy towards this person's insomnia, hoping that they feel more relaxation, more calmness and peace of mind. Or this could be a really generalized healing intention, such as I send this beautiful person love, light and healing energy and everything they need at this time. You can either say that out loud or just say it um, quietly in your, uh, in your mind uh, without actually making any noise. So whatever works for you. And we do this over each chakra area, spending anywhere from about 30 seconds right up until two minutes at each spot. So if you're a Reiki practitioner as well, then you're used to holding your hands over specific energy points for long periods of time. If you're not used to doing that, then even just 30 seconds is going to be fine. And we do this up all the chakras um, and over all of the stones. And then we can start the more active part of the healing if that's what we're going to be doing. Otherwise, we can just leave the stones in place for 10, 20, 30 minutes, play some nice relaxing music, a guided meditation, and just enjoy all of the healing energy that these stones are going to bring. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching today. If you're wondering where to purchase your crystals from um, and you'd love to try working with some of the large flat stones that I work with in my crystal body layouts like these beautiful stones here, then you can visit my online crystal shop which is www.evolvecrystals.net. We sell beautiful large super stones like these for um, your very powerful crystal body work but we also sell chakra stone sets like this, which are a little bit smaller and more affordable. And um, they're really great for using for crystal body work because they don't slide off the body. They don't roll around and they're beautiful quality with each stone being the same size.